Now there's something I learned about a month ago and um, I've been slowly looking up information about it and um, I wanted to dedicate a video to this for today and um, the topic is microplastic beads. Now um, cosmetic companies for the last two decades have been putting um, tiny tiny um, particles of plastic into our um, scrubs um, it could be like uh, scrubs for your hands, your body, or your face, soap, or even toothpaste. Um, the typical name for these microbeads, um, I may be mispronouncing this, so I will go ahead and put the name on the screen and down below so that you can um, look it up for yourself. It is called um, polyethylene, and um, the problem with these tiny plastic particles is that um, they're so small that the filter that we have in place for our water cannot catch them so they just go right down the drain and flow and through and um, they end up in our um, oceans and um, lakes which um, the concern here is um, that they will affect sea life so fish and other um, sea organisms, they then absorb these small particles into their, um, their gut and bile tissues, which um, is obviously harmful to them. Um, and um, small plastic waste is one of the biggest prob environmental problem we have today. So um, these pl microplastic beads are um, in quite a few products. I was uh, shocked to find out and I've seen plenty of them on the shelf um, and uh, I've never stopped to question what these beads were made out of. Um, so there's a website um, and I will list them on the screen right now and I will also list them down below that um, gives you a list of the products on the market that um, contains these microbeads. Um, they, um, now the information on this website may or may not be current by the time you go to the shelf and um, try to find these products. I was able to locate a few um, when I was at Target the other day, just um, out of exper an experiment, I wanted to actually go and look for some products just to prove to myself that, oh yes, it is. they are out there and they do exist and it is listed in the ingredient list. So um, check out the list on uh, of this website on um, online but bear in mind that the information may or may not be current when you look it up there may be more products that should have been added to the list or they may have changed a uh, product already that is on the list they may have taken out the microbeads out of them so just um, look at the list to get some ideas but um, look at the ingredient when you buy the product for yourself um, some popular um, products that contains these uh, microplastic beads are um, like Bath and Body Works um, antibacterial hand wash and um, Laura Mercier flawless skin scrub and Clinique exfoliating scrub. Um, now um, I went to Target and I found one of the items. I only bought one thing just because I didn't want to um, swoop up a whole bunch of things and then um, I wouldn't know what to do with those products. I'm still thinking about this um, and wondering what the best solution is here. Um, here is um, uh, oil-free acne wash from Neutrogena and polythylene is the third ingredient on the list. Um, this was actually in my bathroom and it's on the list. So this is the Crest Complete uh, Multi-Benefit Whitening Deep Clean. So there's a scrub here. Um, some of the companies who have pledged against using microbeads are um, The Body Shop, 
Johnson and Johnson and Lush. So I applaud them for that. Um, now the plan here is that they will um, stop using these microbeads in products by the year 2015. Um, so right now they are phasing it out. But in the meanwhile, these products are still sitting on the shelf and they're not recalling these products. So as consumers, we have to make a decision on what we want to do. Now, um, I wonder if I then throw this in the trash, it's eventually will end up in the landfills. But um, is that better than letting it wash down the drain? I suppose it may be um, the lesser of two evils. Now, this is the information we have as consumers, and it's up to us to um, do what we think is fit to do. And that is my little bit. Thanks for listening, and um, I'll see you next time. Bye.